Are we ready? Yes. I'll call this meeting of the Board of Selectmen, a special meeting together uh, to joint meeting. And uh, I, I, call, I call the meeting of the uh, Village Board of Trustees, uh, joint meeting with the Select Board at uh, 13 minutes to 4. Okay. So, uh, the additions to the uh, posted agenda, we have them just put here. I guess uh, number one that we will talk about. No, it's one page. I brought this. Phil, do you have anything for the uh, additions? Yes, we have things for you to sign. Beth has it. That's okay. on the actual agenda. Okay. okay. Then no, I don't. Okay, you don't. Um, so Mary just passed out this, uh, the model rules for procedure for municipal boards, committees, and commissions. What? Um, well, that was distributed some time ago, and we went away that day with no instructions. And I think that both boards should review it consider it, and that their next regular meeting, the trustees are tomorrow night, whether they do it then or wait till their next meeting, have a discussion among the board and decide if um, you would adopt it. Or if it, this came from the League of Cities and Towns manual, and uh, we never discussed it at all that night. It was just distributed and now I think it's time that we should review it and talk about it within the next month or so and formally adopt it if that is what suits the boards. Individually, the select board and the board of village trustees. Thank you, Mary. Thanks, Mary. You're welcome. Jill, I will email a copy to you. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, um, Jeff, do you have anything before we? Uh... No, we, we're meeting tomorrow night, so uh, okay. all the village decisions can be tomorrow night, other than today's meeting. Yes, we uh, we want to skip over to the new business and go into executive session, or go into executive session right now. Is well, Beth going to be here? Well, Beth? Beth's not here. Beth Radigan, does anybody know? She was. She called us for. 345 because she said she'd have another meeting at 3. Um, she'll be here. She'll be here. She's just out at the jail doing the union negotiation with Robbie. <laughs> okay. Hang hope out. Robbie. Maybe, maybe she won't be here then. Yeah, well, we could cover what new business we can. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep moving ahead. Let's uh, keep moving ahead. Uh, <coughs> Um, there's one thing that uh, if we we can start the discussion about the short term rental, but I believe Serena is getting there as soon as she can and she would want to be part of that vote. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave that I think till that so what's the local emergency management plan for the town and the village? I you, Ray yeah. and I had meet met with those. Okay. Um, we have put them together. It's just basically saying if in the case of an emergency who's the contact for each of these things, and we just need to have both boards approve those lent forms um, in order to get FEMA money. Right, this, is, this is as before. Yeah. 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 This just is the state names and phone numbers for them to call for the situation update if the weather map looks like Woodstock getting hammered. Right. right. Yes, which we which we do doing them every yeah. year. This needs to be updated. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, well, and I'd, accept, I'd entertain a motion for the trustees to uh, to uh, accept the local emergency management plan. Uh, I'm happy to have my, my name and number in there as it is currently. Um, I will make a motion to accept the local emergency management plan for the town and village. Well, for the village of Woodstock, we don't have to do the town, right? Just the village. The village with just number on there for an emergency contact. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I'll make a motion that I, I, um, Are you looking at an actual piece of paper? No. No, I've seen it in the past, but uh, we don't have it in front of us today, Jill. Uh, so I'm not very sure what we're voting on. 
It's last year it was the LEOP. It's been renamed to LEMP. LEOP is just your local emergency operations plan. You guys approved it last year in March. Um, it's just an updated version of that. We have to submit it every year, usually in March, but they extended it to July of this year. We have to submit it to be eligible for federal funds during a disaster. And it's due this Friday, so that's why you guys... Did you make any, cha did you make any changes? Um, no, the only change is that the elementary school is no longer listed as our emergency shelter. It's just Hartford High School. Why is that? Because, because of the, 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 the Red Cross. The Red Cross will not open Woodstock and Hartford at the same time. Okay. And they always close? go to Hartford. Okay. We're too close. Thank you for answering that. Too close. I make a motion that the town approve the LEMP plan as revised for this year for the town of Woodstock. I said I agree. Motion's been made and seconded. Long. We accept the local emergency plan for the town. Of the All those in favor say aye. 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 So thank you. Um, before we go any further, I think it would uh, only be appropriate that I say today is a very historic day for the town of Woodstock. It's the first day that we have ever had a town employee who is the full-time fire chief. First time ever in the town that we've had a full-time employee. All right. And he's present. And David is here, and uh, so uh, look forward to working with you, David, and. Here is the guest of honor. Oh, All right, we just were fumbling to stall. And oh, sorry. That's I, all right. That's I think okay. went longer than anticipated. Beth, why don't you pull join us up here? Okay. Need um, a motion for executive session. I move we. I move we meet in executive session for the board, the select board. I second it. <coughs> Motion's been made to go into executive session for the select board. I make the same motion for the village trustees to go into executive session. I'll go in the other one. Okay. Uh, All right. in favor. Yeah. Well, you can get started with a short term. All right, let's do yeah. it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get sure. going. Here's, oh, here's Beth little. back. Here, come Here comes Beth. From what I understand, that meeting went way better than the original meeting that happened for the short-term rental stuff. The first meeting yes. was pretty rough. The second these meeting was, were right, was put up there for that. Yeah, I think these guidelines should stay up there. Uh, that's uh, part of this thing. It's in that um, yeah. procedures that I think the chairman. What are you, what are you handing out now? Um, the Hoyer, Hoyle and Tanner. Um, the cost for the potential for the Lincoln for the Lincoln, Lincoln covered bridge. Are we going to vote on it? No, no. Or is it just information. Just information. Information oh. only. Information. This is the engineer's best estimate of probable cost. And they don't. The driver, the the people who they own the insurance. truck, they don't have. This is their. Is this them? What, who pays they for this? They don't pay for any of it? <laughs> yeah. Our town insurance will go after the driver's insurance. Okay. Right. That's usually how it works. And he will never get insurance again. <laughs> he will not escape. Oh, yeah. Black flag by the entire he will not world. <laughs> okay. The general will right. cover him. Let's, let's move on to short term rentals. Yeah, let's move on to short term rentals. Short-term rentals. What about short-term rentals? <laughs> I feel going into a moratorium is a little bit um, excessive. Personally, I think that if we gave the Planning Commission a month to make it a one small, in my opinion, one change to appease the situation is to change it that all permits within the village confines would be one year, making it that any time you're a violator. If you serial violate, you just don't get a permit again. And then we could just go up to that person if they continue to go 
and, and rent their house still. But to just up, upheave the people who are law-abiding citizens who are doing it the right way just to, to make their ends meet and do what they're and do, always have been doing what they're supposed to be doing, I think it's just to change all the laws because a couple of people on, from what I understand on High Street, are actually upset. That person who they're talking about, because they're all talking about the same one building, just don't give them a permit again after one year. So, well, let, let, I'd like to speak. Um, so, anything we do, changing the um, permits and the regulations will not affect anybody who currently has a permit. So, that person who is currently breaking our regulations has a permit forever. And we cannot do anything about it. However, we can do something about any new permits that are issued. And we currently have about 45 permits, and yet when you do a search, there are about 145 properties in the town and village who are advertising as short-term rentals. Some of that's because we haven't had regulations in the five plus acres, but there are a lot of people out there who are highly likely to come for a permit very soon. And if they, are to, if they came in the next few months, they would get one of the old, fresh, old regulations, old permits, which are toothless. They, we have, they, they don't work, they don't give us any, um, any um, pushback, just like Carrie was talking about. Are those, uh, Jill, you say there are 45 permits issued. Is that for the village and the town? There's only 45? It's for the, yes, yeah, that's, yes, yeah. yeah. So how long are we suggesting to do a moratorium, if we were to do one? It could, it could last a year or two until the, the Planning Commission decides what they want to change everything to. Well, what makes sense? Excuse me? What makes so sense? It, I, think it would, I think it would be really good to, uh, to ask the Planning Commission to come back with new regulations within a short period of time. And what the moratorium might have the ability to do is to help speed up the conversations that have been going on for several years and haven't reached any agreement in the planning commission. But, is, but aren't their policies a live policy? They don't need to go onto a moratorium to make changes. They make changes all the time. <laughs> They, everything's grandfathered in. I right, but there could be a rush. This. Right, so Jill how is saying there could be a rush of people going to the, to get permits, and knowing that this activity is going on, they are because they are, yeah. because they. It's not exactly a rush. There are three lined up. There are three permits. Right, I think that this is all being pushed, yeah. built out of proportion. I mean, it, it's it's Maybe being. Yeah, I just I just think that doing this moratorium is is more negative than than positive. I, I, I. Well, so I to hear that there are three more. Uh, is that three in the village? No, one in the town and two in the village, according to Lynn Beach today. Okay. I asked her today. So two more in the village makes my heart sink because that means two more of our homes are going to become short term rentals and we don't know whether the owner is present or whether the owner is not present. But I'm kind of. We're making them guilty before they're proven innocent. I'm wondering that doesn't make any if sense. maybe one or two or all three of these new applications are people who are already um, doing short-term rental and is realizing that um, they need to come and get their permit, get things in order. That may be. Maybe. But the, but the point is still, Mary, that if they have one of the old permits, that doesn't, it, it doesn't do what Carrie's asking, which is make it an annual permit, and then make it so that we can make these permits effective, because right now they're ineffective. So what I we, heard... They don't mean anything. What I heard from the hearing the other night was that we have, and I have a packet in front of me that you would get if you came in to do a short-term rental. Uh, we have rules in in order, but we are on the table, but we're not enforcing them. That's what I heard a lot of people say. You're not enforcing right. them. Right. So what I would and, and what is, sorry. 
So what I'm suggesting is that we start to enforce them and that we get to the Planning Commission real soon and move forward with this. And my suggestion would be that um, our local fire department have to inspect this building along with the state. State has to inspect it. And that these places be um, inspected every three years. They have to have a reinspection to make sure that they are still in compliance. And that um, change of ownership, you'd have to reply, reapply anyway. So, so if you so buy my house, uh, then you have to you have to reapply. Um, but I think, and we need to give this some teeth so that we can enforce it. Now we have a, an alarm ordinance in the town that's very enforceable. We don't have hardly any trouble with it at all. People comply. And uh, the reason they don't comply is because there's no, nobody's, nobody's done it. And we have to do that. And I, I think this is a very good packet. And um, I'm not in favor of a moratorium. I think if somebody comes in tomorrow and wants a permit and meets all these obligations, and um, I, I, we, but we do need to get to the Planning Commission and find out how we adopt some new, right away, these new things. They've got to be inspected every three well, years. Check your and months. I also think we need to raise the fee so that it covers mm -hmm. our, um, our administrative costs. So it sounds right. like it sounds like you do want to change the regulation. It sounds like everybody's in favor with changing the regulation. So what does it hurt to put a moratorium up, which lights a kind of a fire under the planning commission to get things moving? And then also you don't hand out regulations that you want changed anyway. Because I think a moratorium, I, I disagree. I think a moratorium will slow it down. I think if we get right on this, if we more, have a moratorium, we'll say, well, we got plenty of time. Well, we don't have plenty of time. We need okay. to you couldn't get to it this month. month That's why I said one month. Yeah. Let's get on to it right away. Why, why can't you just do one month moratorium? And that way you have that one month to I redo the think, regulations. I think it sends a bad message. I don't uh, disagree. I, just make them do it in a month. And there's no way to strip the offenders of their permits or just no. say you're fined, you're done. You'll be arrested. No. So, so that's the problem with the current, the current permit. So the, okay, the, but says the packet looks okay. But the problem is that those regulations are unenforceable because the only way to enforce them is to go to court and we won't take people to court over this because it costs too much money. So we need to write regulations that are um, enforceable and putting in that you have to have an annual permit and if you don't obey, the, if you don't follow the rules, then you won't get it. That becomes, starts to become more enforceable without the courts getting involved. I, I'm not sure about going to court with this, it, that it's not enforceable. Um, I, don't, I don't know. That's the story that Michael, that's the story that Michael tells and that's why those people in High Street were so upset because they have complained to Michael many, many times about the fact that the property is being rented for one night at a time, which is against the regulations, that the cars aren't parking as they should, which is against the regulations, and uh, Michael is not doing anything. I think when the fire chief shows up at your door and knocks on the door and says, I'm gonna pull your permit, whether he has power to do it or not, uh, you're probably going to start to uh, pay attention. I don't understand why we, but we're all <laughs> are in agreement that we want the regulations to be changed. So why would you feel comfortable hanging, handing out new permits with under regulations that you aren't in support of? Because the high street one is the only one that seems to be the complaint, and we can't change theirs anyway because we still can't pull no, their permits. But it's so right, what's but the why difference? Would you just stop that in its tracks. Why would you continue that? Why would you allow more properties to do that? Why wouldn't you just give it, like, uh, say stop? Because I don't think that for the 10 people complaining that you should affect 5,000 people who are doing it right. I don't that think wasn't. you're affecting But a lot of this is state people. laws that we can't change. The, the but you're not combined. affecting anybody who's currently doing this. You're only affecting new people that come for permits. And all you're saying is, 
could you just hold on for three months and we'll probably keep, we'll give you a permit in three months, but just let us rewrite the regulation. You know, because I'll, it I'll, doesn't really happen over a month. If but, I, if but I, I could, could say, say uh, a, a state law supersedes anything we do anyway, so. Yeah. And the legislature. I I don't I don't like the idea of a moratorium. Uh, I would if, if most of the, these two boards would like to do a moratorium, I would like to see it be one month, and get, get the work done right away. Yeah. And I I, I I would see that as a compromise. I would. I would um, well, we we do need to put in that the regulations are written by the planning commission, who are volunteers who currently meet once a month. So it'd be pretty difficult to do it in one month. Well, no, I don't think Can so. The board I think it? they do it at, at, at that meeting. And certainly these two boards could have our recommendations. These are ordinances yeah, we, we that we sign anyway. off on. And we have to sign off on what comes through the Planning Commission anyway. So if they know what we're likely to sign off on, they could do it in one meeting. I go along with that. I'd say a month. That's why I don't want to do the moratorium because I think it would speed it up. But if we, let's do it. I feel like there's it. no speed at the Let's don't do it in a month. Well, then let's do it for one month. Yeah. <laughs> no, no dragging your feet. Yeah. And, uh, and another we're way going to adopt it any, We're going to adopt it anyway. So we can pretty much write it for them. Right? Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We can pretty much write it for them. Do we have like a draft of what this regulation would look like already? Anyway. Um, we do we do have postcompliance.com that can help us from their ex their position of expertise that they could they could make some suggestions of what's working around the country. Jill, it's come and to then we could put our own spin on it. Jill, it's come to my attention that things like host uh, what is it called again? Host, host compliance. Host compliance. Actually, um, they they um, all they can really do with their algorithm is um, look at Airbnb and those types of sites for blocked off times, not whether something is actually be income or being paid for. So let's just say that Carrie Egan has a place and my mother's coming to visit for three weeks. That would go against my time because that time is blocked off. I don't think that they're actually going to be able to effectively work for us. And I believed in doing it before, but after, unless you can correct me that I'm wrong, I just, I don't know that it's, it, it, okay. that we can even remotely get something accurate from them. Um, so I believe we can get something accurate. This company works for many, many cities and towns across the U.S. And, if if, and it's not as simplistic as you're suggesting. And, and our, what we have yeah, reason of previous meeting was that tears. we're going to try them out and we'll test it. So we'll make sure that we're happy with it. Jill, um, if you recall our meeting on June 18th, we were supposed yes. to um, review, it was a public hearing about the new regulations that the Planning Commission had submitted for the 25 acre in HR forestry yes. districts, which we did not even consider that night because the meeting took the turn that the June 27th meeting was for. So we still have this from back in April. I believe the Planning Commission put this in place in April 3rd. And we're, we've continued that to this month. I agree with Jeff. Um, I don't see where a moratorium unended is going to be um, helpful. I also consider the fact that it was stated in one of the warnings or notices that it was an emergency moratorium. And I failed to see where the emergency is. Uh, well, I think now we've created an emergency because we've uh, said that we're going to change the rules. And so anybody mm -hmm. who hasn't got a permit is, and is fairly silly if they don't apply for a permit immediately and get the old grandfather to uh, get the old permit. I hope that they get moving on that soon. And now with this, I don't, um, I don't hope they don't get moving on that soon. I don't want them to have the whole regulation. With 
But not, it, we've already proven they're all, what is it, one, you said one in the town and two in the village, and they're already existing people who are doing it anyway, who want to be law-abiding citizens. Where, where's this host of people coming in, buying up all the excess properties here, and starting to put them on Airbnb with old regulations? I just think it's being blown out of proportion. Well, if we, if we agree on a 30-day moratorium, and then we get this all done in 30 days, well, well, we don't need to keep talking about it. No. 30 day moratorium. I, 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 the, the planning, I just think 30 days is too short. The, the well, planning commission I, meets again. Get to work on it. On um, the first Wednesday in August. So already. Here we are at, towards the end of July. That's not even giving them a month for their meeting. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, I, yes. Yeah, I'd, like, I'd like to see what Phil has any advice for us. Well, like Mary said, the Planning Commission meets in August. August 3rd, according to you. At, at the first Wednesday in August. Is that the 3rd? Oh, oops. No. no, I'm sorry. I was wrong. August. That would be August 7th. That gives them a month. Almost. Today's the, today's the 8th. I don't think they don't have a meeting. They don't have a meeting between now and then. They don't have a then. meeting between now and then. They can't move on it till August. August 7th. Did you say one month from their next meeting? Why don't we supply them? Why don't we give them two months? How about one month from their next meeting? moratorium in that audience and we are here no. to do what they we had a public hearing oh. we're here to listen to the people but, but I, jill so we, we are there to we listen to the people to, that turned up we, we had three people, people. Up, but there were many people there were many people who didn't turn up and then we also had some letters so of the people who turned up most of them were already involved in short-term rentals so it's quite natural they would say we don't want anything but what we did here is they would like this to be policed properly and regulated properly. Had we had more people who are not involved in short-term in short rentals, we would have heard other disagreements, and, we, and the Planning Commission has heard them in the past. But they were given their opportunity to show up, just like on voting day, on town meeting day, or village meeting day. If you don't show up, your, your vote doesn't count. You have an opportunity, it was warned. Can, can I ask a question? Jill, Jill, Jill. We allowed voting for several months previous. Jill, Jill, Jill I want to ask a question. Everybody can be there. Jill, you're out of order. I, I Ray mean, would like to speak. David, how long is it take? Okay. When, how long is it going to take if somebody applies for a permit today to get the state fire marshal and you there to inspect the property? To get me, to get me there won't take long at all. Right. State fire marshal, I can't answer them. Fall a month. A month. A month. No more than a month. Hey, what were you going to say? But I, I do have a question. So in the existing permits, and maybe you talked about this, why can't in the new ordinances that the existing permits have a sunset period expire and then they have to reapply for new permits? So that would cover everybody that's pre-existing and bring them into current compliance, whether it's three years, four years, or give them a period to apply for new permits. Wait, uh, how, how, it's, I'm it's, trying to understand that's that. That's a great idea, but I don't know if it's legal. I don't yeah, think. we'd have to look into that legally. I think I, I talked to uh, Michael, and he said that the state law is what grandfathers these permits. But if you make an ordinance our own, I would think as long as it's no less than the state requirement, we can do it. I, I'm not sure. It's I'm tricky. Just, yeah. There's a program on public radio on Saturday morning that talks about, is it called the local post or something, but it talks about what's going on in town. And this is what they talked about on Saturday, yeah. was um, short-term rentals. Short -term rentals. And unfortunately, or fortunately, the legislature is going to take it up in the next session. Whether they will accomplish anything yeah, right. then or not remains to be seen. However, the woman who um, has the show said when a state regulation is put into effect, chances are that's what's going to be the, the rule of the, the law of the land. So. Even if you're grandfathered, 
State law would override our local. Override, that's the word. Thank but you, state Michelle. law also says that you have to honor grandfathers. Is that correct? You have to grandfather people. No, the, the, you have to honor yeah, somebody who's grandfather, the correct? The no, they said the that permits that. were grandfathered. They didn't say that they couldn't change it. I mean, the state law says you're not grandfathered anymore. You're not grandfathered anymore. I, I consider that we can um, ask the, I would like to consider asking the Planning Commission to move forward quickly and develop the regulations that they had already worked on this other piece that they have from April that we're going to consider next, our next meeting. Um, I think that we should give them an opportunity and I think they'll come up with it quickly because we know they're already talking about it that um, we'd like to see what they have in September. Is that a By their September meeting? Pardon me? By their September meeting? By their September meeting. That with that, I, I would make that motion. That does not include a moratorium. That's, mm -hmm. my motion does not include that. I'd like to give the Planning Commission until their September meeting to have something to submit to us. Yeah in our September meetings. Is that a motion? That's a motion. Yes. I, I second it. Motion's been made and seconded that we have the Planning Commission uh, have something by their September meeting, and this does not include, include a, a moratorium, moratorium at this time. At this time. Any further discussion? Jill? You, any further discussion? No. No. All in favor? Aye. 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 No. <laughs> right, I'm against it, and this is Jill. So we have to do our roll call, right? All right. Mary is in favor. Butch? Aye. Aye. Jill is against. John? Ray, aye. Aye. That's all right, so we need a motion from the town's motion. I make village. a motion to match the town's motion. Do we have a second to match the town's motion? A second, but as part of discussion, I do think we should include more for him. Same. Uh, okay, and uh, let's discuss that. I, I don't think we should include a moratorium. But don't you sure worry that, I mean, that was what you were saying. That the I don't know why you would want to hand out oh, regulations that you're not in support of and want to be changed. And why would you hand out a permit with regulations behind it that you're not in support of and want changed? It's, it's going to... It, why? Because why would you it's already been proven that this... this, this <laughs> Huff of this big fluff is only two, three permits, one in the town and two in the village, that, that are existing people doing it anyway who are looking to be law abiding. It's not even like they're, it, it's like I said, it's not somebody that just came in, bought this house, and boom, I'm gonna destroy right, this place with Airbnb. Right, but we've already made Airbnb. this huge deal about changing the regulations, aren't you? I just, one it's little thing I want to change is that they'll be going forward going after. And adopting this permit that has no teeth um, because they know that there's a change coming? Okay, I, you know, I hear both arguments. What I'm going to suggest is I, uh, I, I happen to, I just, I'm just reminded of this, Carrie, uh, Carrie Cole said she couldn't be here. She wanted me to express her, her yeah. view. Um, she's in favor. Uh, a moratorium. So, what if we, what if the village adopted a moratorium that was to cease um, um, following the September meeting of the planning committee? Commission? What do you mean? So that's I mean, the time period for moratorium. Adoption. If they don't adopt anything, it goes right back to where yeah, it was I, and nothing I'm happens. Okay nothing changes. If they don't, if they don't adopt they don't, any new regulations in two months. In two months, mm -hmm. then. Then nothing the changes. The moratorium is over, and nothing How changes. How about still the same? And, uh, and How about making it three? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not doing I, I, No, I don't. We're making a decision in September. I don't no, think let's go with let's go with uh, uh, the the time period uh, through the September meeting, meeting of the planning commission, however length of time that is. And we don't adopt any new permits in that time. Right. They have until the Correct. second the, the, the meeting village. of the September. The yes. Okay. I'm fine. And when would it go in, into effect as of that well, night on that September meeting? meeting? Well, they'll pass it. Uh, then they would have to. We'd have to. The, we'd have to approve the ordinance change. Yeah. 
So yeah, is, what's the number of days before the ordinance goes into it? Okay. 60. Okay. So, so then that's basically a four-month moratorium anyway. Mm -hmm. um, no. Oh, no, it's a four-month no. that, that, that people can get. Oh, no, it'll be two months after that that people can get. Under the old permit. Yeah, I, old I, permit. yeah I, I'm, I don't, I'm only saying this because three of our members are for uh, this. I, I would vote against it, but I, I'm going to vote for it because I know that Kerry is for it. Yeah. And You're right. She was here earlier today, and she. I, I thought she, that's she how called she was me. Right. She, called me she and, did say that. And asked me to express that. So, um, so amended, uh, amended. Yes. Is that okay with you? Yes. All right. So the village is going to approve a moratorium on new permits as of today. I mean, as of tomorrow. They're, they can't be applied for it through the next meeting of the planning commission in September. Does that include the current applications? No. Because those are already in. Because those are already, already, already applied, no. Okay. But then after they approve, so after that meeting, there's 60 it's days. It's going to open up again people for the old permit for 60 days. There's like a 60 day window where people. Which is why it doesn't make sense the way you're doing it. You guys could enact another. We could extend another one if we so choose. If the ordinance goes into effect in 60 days, there's a shorter period under which they can apply for an appeal. Like so now, you know that was the official steps that we have to follow, yeah. All right. Yes. Which, which might be Phil now, I believe. Well, we're, Phil, yeah, we're Mike and, uh, my, me and Mike will work on that. Okay. All right, so um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Uh, and so, uh, Anna, Anna is saying it's roll call. Anna says aye. Serena says aye. Jeffrey says aye. Carrie okay, says nay. <coughs> Motion carries. Now, how, yeah. now, how are we going to make suggestions? Get to, how are we gonna, uh, are you going to supply a person uh, from the select board to work on that? Two chairs. Two chairs. Let's work on that together. The chairman. To give suggestions, and then we'll take input from any any individuals on the board. Right. Okay. Please. And I'd like to, I, I'll work with the planning commission because I'm part of that subcommittee that's working okay, with them. I don't know if, uh, You can't do both. Yeah. I can't be on the select board and a subcommittee? I can't work on a, I, I don't think you can legally work on a planning committee where you're going to vote on something. I don't vote. I'm a subcommittee giving the planning commission advice. I'm part of a subcommittee that's working for the planning commission. And I can, on, we are feeding our ideas in and it's up to them to vote on them. I don't vote. But the select board ultimately votes, is that? Yes, the yeah. select board would ultimately vote on the town ordinance. So that's okay. what, that's why he's saying that. Though. So then everything should go through. Yeah. Everything should go through Butch then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why don't you, why don't you give your suggestions that's what I'm saying, to Butch? Right. There's, there's several. I've been working on this issue with about four other people for six months, David included. Well, we'll certainly take your. We're not going to close the door on you, Jill. That's for sure. And, you can, and, and I'm not going to not go to the planning commission meeting. It's your choice, I guess. But. Yeah. And is there something in the model rules, Mary, that suggests this is not appropriate? I have not read anything specifically about that, but um, I'll read them more closely. I, I think we're all individuals, aren't we? And, that we, and if we have a, a, a subject of interest, we can work on it. I don't see I don't think anybody's I don't, I'm not opposed to it. I, I don't mean, think anybody's saying She's influencing them I'm based on her not. beliefs. Of you know, just to firm this up for the village, yeah. uh, 
I asked a question. I didn't say he couldn't do it. Yeah, he I asked just asked a question. question. I'd like to entertain a motion that for the village that I receive input from my board members and that uh, as chair of the I'll, board, I, I be the person to relay the information to the planning commission. I would make a motion that Jeff Kahn would represent us and we would give him information uh, or our ideas on how to uh, work with the planning commission. I'll second that. Um, any further discussion? All, right. All those there in is, favor? Aye. 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 It's that members of the body and members of the public shall obey the orders of the chair or other speaking member, um, which has asked us to send our notes to him. I don't know if that if that's warranted by this statement. I do not see where it says we cannot participate in other no. meetings. Okay. Yeah, you, so, so, so I will send notes to Butch and I'll be part of this other subcommittee. I'd like a motion from the floor, same as the trustees before that. I'd be I, make, I make a motion that we follow the trustees um, method process of submitting ideas to planning board. The and we should do those through, before through the August meeting. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Second, Jeff. I'll second it. Second. second. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Mary. Joe, Joe second favor. or Mary? I'm in favor. In the favor? current package. Yes. Aye. 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 Unanimous. Did everybody say bad timing? I gotta be mad. Yeah, yeah. Can I request that the packet that's yeah. that yeah. you were in reference to be yeah. circulated to yeah. everybody? Yeah, you can this is Okay. Sure. Just keep that because I can always get it. You want it to, right? Yeah. Here, I'll, 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 I'll scan, scan it and then send it. Yep. Yeah. Send it to yeah. all of us. Yeah. That'd be great. Mm. All right. All right. I make a motion that we don't give the Vermont Standard any information about what went on. Uh, he about, just came because he I came agree. in. I just arrived. I was covering another story. Uh, there's nothing more, uh, more exciting than, than us. So, uh, was there, so is there any further discussion on host compliance before on us working with host compliance? Is that something that you, you as a select board has have already voted on? or have not voted. Or is, has... You, you did as well. Yeah, I did as well, right? But is is that is there an up, I'm just asking, is there an update on the, our correspondence oh, with them? I've had no communication about that so the day of. The I, I can update you because I'm part of the subcommittee. Okay. So um, we talked to hostcompliance.com. They said they have a person on staff who will review our ordinances and make some suggestions, and that would be free of charge. I believe the next thing we need to do is to talk to Michael and Lynn and talk and, and get their willingness to work with hostcompliance.com and perhaps with the select board and trustees to make these changes and make them good and workable so that we nobody comes in with a heavy hand and says, this is what you have to do, but says this, these are the kind of things that will happen if when the town and village start working with hostcompliance.com. And I hope that they wouldn't incur any extra work, but it might be different work to what they're already doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that, okay. So is that happening? Is that conversation, is that something, who's having that conversation with Michael and Liz about that? Um, it hasn't been planned yet. So. Okay, thank you. Make a motion we adjourn. I'll second that motion. Motion has been made the second to adjourn. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 I make the aye. second motion for the village trustees. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Well, any yeah. discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. aye. The phone. The phone. Bye bye. Did we put that down there? That, I knew that I knew that was a workaround from those that thing. That